Hi guys, welcome to my channel again. It's me, Chrissy. Today I'm doing an angel with some um, orbs floating, but I'll explain that as the painting gets on. So here I'm just putting some dark seam purple and some phthalo green. I'm just soft blending these in. Uh, obviously this is going to be my background colour. I'm working in acrylics today and I'm on a A3 size canvas. Now I've let that dry and I'm going in with my yellows and oranges and I'm just bringing that down to the darks. Don't worry about the harsh lines because we've got to go in and do another layer yet. But you can see I've got my brush strokes coming down on, like streaky, heading down towards the bottom right of the canvas. So that was a purpose thing I had to do. Well, I didn't have to do, I wanted to do. But it'll all be reflected in as we move on in the video. So I've let that dry and I've come back in and I'm putting some deeper red tones in, red, very orange tones, just to give it like that nice uh, uh, sun rays effect, if you will. I'm just using a stiff round brush. I'm just lightly skipping over here. I'm not putting a harsh pressure on, but I'm doing a bit of soft blending as I go. Now here I've had any paint on the brush, I've wiped my brush off and I'm just softly going in with some extra soft rays. With some darker tones of that red. So we're a deep red, a cadmium deep red I use, but you can use cadmium red medium, just to add a bit of black. Same here, I'm going back in with that phthalo green. I've just added a bit of white just to lighten it a, a, a slightly. So like I said, we're doing layers, so I just wanted uh, the contrast in there. And then back up with a stiff flat brush to put them rays back in again, because I did soft blend some of them out to give it a smooth uh, transition. I'm bringing some of that dark in. I'm just using a mauve colour just to bring it all together. I do prefer to let my layers dry, but sometimes I do like to work wet into wet, but I am working uh, on dry paint now. So again, I'm just making some little soft circles with the edge of my flat, stiff bristle brush with that nice purpley mauve colour. And then I just add a bit more magenta to that mixture to make it a bit more pinky colour. And obviously my oranges and yellows and greens, just give them like soft orbs. Now these are going to represent the souls of uh, people that the angel that I'm going to apply shortly that you'll see as the video moves on. She's actually collecting all the souls to take up to heaven. Um, so I wanted to catch, uh, capture that essence. I'm just soft blending here with just a synthetic uh, round brush. It's quite a soft brush. Just a cheap uh, brush. I'm just getting rid of any harsh lines that I didn't like and bringing some of them darker rays into the shadowed area. We won't see a lot of this, but it will be visible because obviously I've got my angel to put there. But um, still, I wanted to work it in correctly just in case some of it did show through. I put my orbs in where it's just nice, soft, subtle, so I can see them. So I do emphasize on them later on in the video. If you find this enjoyable, guys, please give us a thumbs up. I do appreciate that. And you can leave me a comment if you have any questions. And also there's links below the video if you want to check out um, any of my other social media platforms. And I also have a Facebook group and a website you can have a look at if you're interested. So now I'm going in with that same soft round bristle brush. Uh, it's not a bristle, synthetic brush. I'm emphasizing the orbs a bit more, just these little circles. Soft, soft blend. I had a little, uh, very little paint on your brush for this. If you don't want a lot of paint, so just get your color mixed up and then wipe off most, most of the paint before you start putting it on your canvas. Same colours I used before with the violet and the magenta to make the pink and the phthalo green. So the brighter phthalo green, I've just added a bit more white. 
I really like this painting. I thought it was a lovely painting. It'd be nice for like Christmas or a gift for somebody. I thought it was really nice. So these are the angel orbs as well, these streaks. These are the actual angels that are fleeting up and down in my my world. <laughs> and there goes my image on now. I've drawn my image on. I've just used a chalk pastel pencil for this. Now I'm just blocking her body in with this uh, purple colour. <clears throat> it's dark seen purple. I've just added a bit of ultramarine blue and a tiny bit of white. I just didn't get her hand right there, so I had to redraw it in again. Because her wings are closed, so she, it's actually like a shadow silhouette of her body that we're seeing through her wings, yeah? Because she's actually got her wings closed because she's... Collecting up, like you said, the, like I said, the souls and carrying them off up to heaven, yeah? And that's just a part of a dress. I thought that was nice. I just thought I added that in. But it's nice to create your artwork and just have a sit down and think what you want to do and draw it out first. Like I always sketch things out, uh, add things in, take things away if I didn't like it or... Um, also your colours, I do plan out my colours as well that's always a good thing to do and if you've got like um an iPad you can do things on or uh, any like digital artwork that you like to do you could do it in there, you know, just download the programme or freehand and sketch it in and just uh, block in your colours I suppose, that's a, the old fashioned way of doing it in this technical world, there's all there's all different ways, isn't there? So I'll fiddle around with the features for a while because I weren't quite happy with them, but you'll see me, I don't skip anything out, you'll see all the process. I want some light here, like from coming from behind, where I put the light to uh, oranges and yellows. But I didn't want it that colour because it wouldn't be that colour because of her wings will be shadowing it. But I suppose you could do it any colour. This is just my uh, preference that I'm showing you today. You know, you could have done a flying or a, a frontal view of, of an angel. That would have been nice as well. But I thought this was just something a bit different. That I wanted to show you. We're having her wings closed and, and so forth. I thought it, it made a nice uh, painting, you know, it made a nice view of her, should I say, a an ang nice angle. I'm just trying to get the actual correct values that I want. I'm making sure I've got the shapes in that I like. So I'm to and fro uh with the colours and the and the shape of her arms and her body, which will see me just alter things as I, I get going. Which is what we naturally do anyway. You know, you always alter things. Well, I do. I'm always altering things. I'm just using a detail brush here because I want to get these uh, uh, shapes correct and obviously I can use that to work in wet into wet as well and do some soft blending around the actual figure like I'm doing there. I'm just doing a nice light streak that's just peeping through. I'm dry brushing most of this at the moment, so very little paint again on my brush. 
I'm just reshaping her here because I wasn't quite happy with the shape. I'm just working in them blues and purples. So the values are there, but they're just a, either a darker or a lighter value each time. Like I'm doing over on her face now. So I've just added a bit more magenta into the purple and added some white. Obviously, I still need to keep the uh, contrast in the image. I'm just going in again. I've let it dry and I've come back to that again just to give it another soft uh, blend out. I'm just getting in the wings now. I'm just marking them in with some t uh, titanium white, but it's not a uh, pure titanium white. It's just like a grey tone. So I've added a bit of grey gray into it. So I don't want some white white to start with. But you can make your own grey, but obviously using black and white. Just give me some more light, light back light reflections there on her body and round her hair. I want that bit of a, a glow at the top of her head. So I do come back and forth and mess around with that, as you'll see as we move on in the video. Which is good, because if you want to change things, you can do just let it dry and come back to it, obviously. Or if you catch it while it's still wet and you're under layers dry, you can just wipe it off with a damp cloth. And make sure your underpainting's uh, dry or else you'll lift up the painting underneath. I just prefer to let it dry properly and then I just paint it out. But little mishaps, you know, you just spill a little bit of a, a blob of paint or something, you can wipe that off. So I'm just using a, a, a dry brush here. So I'm just dry brushing this on, this uh, tonal grey colour. So it's not white, it's an off-white. I'm just using a, a angle brush, synthetic angle brush. Then I'm adding some purple because you can just see a bit of her other wing on the other side. I'm just adding that in purple so I know it's there and I can see it. And obviously I'll, I'll be going over that as well. But I like doing subjects like this. You know, anything. Mind you, my, my favourite things to do is animals, but I still I like to uh, do different styles and different images. And I thought an angel were a lovely thing to do. So I quite like angels and cherubs and things like that. <laughs> I just like them. So I'm going in with stronger white now. I've moved up to a flat, uh, stiff brush. So I'm going in with more titanium white. Still not pure titanium. I have tinted it slightly. So it's just making it a bit more opaque. But still, you want it to look like they're still slightly see through the actual wings. So, some darker purple here because there is some shadows reflecting from the, the inside of the wings. Isn't that beautiful, that background, that orange and yellow, just glowing through there, just floating around in space on the way up to heaven. Oh, wow, wonderful. It just it gives you a nice feeling about it, doesn't it? Your soul being collected by angels and being carried off. Yeah, it gives me a nice feeling. Not that everybody will agree, but that's how I feel about it. I'm strengthening the wings up again, just at the edges with some more titanium white. I'm still using my flat brush. 
and just put some more lines in just to separate them darker purple shadows we put in. I'm back with the yellow and white just to get that glow again because we did lose a little bit of it. A halo. So I'm just strengthening some more uh, angel. Uh, well, they're not orbs. These are where the angels have dashed down and left like an essence behind them because they're traveling down to earth to pick up the souls. It's like an essence, if you will, which I thought were really nice. I'm just going with the bits of blues and pinks again, just lightening them slightly with some white. I'm dry brushing over that to give that look like she's inside the wings, obviously. Like you do when you put a lacquer like, glaze over your water to make it like stones look underwater to style. Same same thing. Lightening the halo again, just some more uh, white. Now we am just glazing slightly here, so I've got quite a, not a lot of paint on my brush, and I've got some glazing medium. Because what this does, it'll go over the purples and that, but it won't cover it up because you've got the glazing medium on. So you're just giving it a nice thin layer. And it just softens everything and brings everything together without actually covering things up. I'm just strengthening my little orbs again. There's my soles going back in. Just subtly. Some are a bit brighter, some are just real subtle. I don't want them too obvious, obviously. It'll take away the image of the actual uh, angel itself. Then we're making more greeny up there so you can see them in the orange section. I thought it was just a really nice thing to paint. I enjoyed painting it. So I'm going in with another glaze again, just softening them wings again. You can use mixing white for that. That's pretty cool uh, paint to have. You should always have that in your paint box. Transparent white, they call it. I just got my little uh, detail brush. I'm just going around some of the feathers, just emphasizing them slightly in the center and on the edges. So thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give us a thumbs up. And uh, I'll see you again shortly. Bye for now.